Friends, rejoice, I bring tidings of good news. After all these years, so many lost nights of sleep, not knowing if my favorite Halo 3 helmet would make it into Infinite, I can confirm that EOD is back, baby. It's in Halo Infinite, and he's looking gorgeous. I'm so happy. We just got Wave 3 of Jazzware Toys, Halo Infinite, World of Halo Scale. There are so many amazing plans for this line. They are going to blow up, I think, much more than McFarlane or Mattel ever did. We're here today to break down wave three of their figure line. Wave two is barely in stores, but we've got the images for wave three. And usually when we get these images, they start appearing, especially on Chinese sellers websites very quickly. And yeah, welcome back to the domain. We're doing two news videos in two days consecutively. Apparently I don't get any rest because more news is coming every single day. So we are treated to six new figures. And the one that stands out immediately to everyone is our big monkey boy hype. Hyperius. Most people are going to be surprised to see Hyperius like this, and yes, he has already been revealed in an infinite blog on Halo Waypoint. We at the Megablox community have been rocking Hyperius for almost a year now. He came out in one of the original Halo Infinite Megablox sets, and I've had him on my shelf for a long, long time now. But this is a way more detailed look at the figure. There's more accessories, more little tidbits that weren't available in the constructs form because it's such a small figure. He's, um, I mean, ah, my, ah. I'm gonna make a separate video on this, whether he has actually killed Spartan Locke. And we've seen this in Mega Constructs form on the Halo Waypoint blog, and now again. It's clearly Locke's helmet. I just don't think 343 would play Locke that way. I know that the Spartan is a big unpopular one in the community, but I, I just don't think 343 would do him dirty like this. I think it's more just a cloud and smoke kind of game. I don't think they're gonna kill Locke off in toy form, you know. I think it'll be done, if it is done, in a much more dramatic way. So let's hope that's not Locke's helmet, but he also has some Spartan's fingers as a necklace, which is like a weird tribal thing. I'm all about it, but I just don't want to see one of my favorite Spartans get killed. Yes, Locke is one of my favorites. Fight me. I'll fight you all. I'll f fight like 90% of the Halo community. My gosh. After our monkey overlord, we've got two more banished figures. An elite miner, which is really nothing special aside from being an amazing army builder. In terms of large scale figures, we haven't had a low tier elite minor figure since 2010 so I know that a lot of people are gonna be excited about this and there is also a jackal Jeremiah the jackal looking ugly as ever and he actually comes with a shield which is believe it or not the first jackal toy with a shield since 2008 that is a long time so yeah rejoice the shield is back this jackal is gonna look really excellent next to the jackal sniper and I'm also really excited to build a load of those elites into my army I I used to army build the storm covenant elite Elites like crazy. It would not be a wave of popular toys without another Master Chief. And yes, we got an insane amount of Master Chiefs in Series 1 of Jazzware toys, but this one is slightly different with a new shade of green, maybe to reflect the changes cosmetically that Infinite has gone through over the last year. And he also has silver sort of black knee guards, which is different from the plain green knees that we got in a gazillion other Chiefs last year. And this is the first Chief figure we have with a grapple shot. I'm I'm so terribly excited to use that in game. I've still had, I've still got no idea how the physics of that thing could work, how it could launch this bite like titanium robot through the air. And it actually looks quite oversized, which makes more sense. It is quite huge on this figure. Which brings us on to the two other Spartans in this set. And they are amazing. The first one. I thought it was a Trailblazer. We've seen Trailblazer Spartans in Mega Bloks so far, but no, this is something else. You can see the cylinders on its helmet are a little different from Trailblazer, so I don't know what armor this is. He looks a little strange, but I like the color choices and it's all good with me. And then I built up to the final figure of my beautiful baby boy, EOD. EOD has always been probably my top tier favorite Spartan armor from Halo 3, and that is the game I played the most. I love all Halo 3 armors, but EOD always stood out for me, and 343 has always taken care of EOD. So it's not so much of a surprise that it's an infinite. Good lord, is it lovely to see it like right back into like Halo 3, Halo Reach design, but with some of the cosmetic choices that you can clearly do in infinite. 
it. Like the ammo shell belt on his hips. But no, he probably closely resembles the Reach Mark V B variant, and I love that yellow shade as well. I, all these colors are pretty damn cool. And then we get onto the weapons of these figures, which I'll be honest with you, I don't know myself. They are all quite strange. Hyperius seems to have what I would say is a spiker, but it might closely resemble the Ravager that we saw in the Halo Infinite gameplay demo. And then the Jackal obviously has a plasma pistol, though quite oversized, it seems. It looks sort of like Nerf gun toyish. Fair to say the Elite looks like he's got a carbine in hand, and then the Chief has his grapple shot. So excited about that. So, so excited. And then these other two Spartans, it's a bit more of a guessing game. The strange helmet Spartan looks like he sort of has a bulldog shotgun, but it's a bit too small. Doesn't look like the Commando, I'm not too sure. And then the EOD has what I would guess is a modified Hydra launcher. We know the Hydra launcher is in Halo Infinite. Bam Bam likes to hypothesize that it's some kind of mix with Forerunner tech, but all in all, I love to see that Jazzware is getting support to already release a third wave of figures, and they are definitely going to be sizing up to the legacy of McFarlane toys. They're also releasing loads of figures from past generations. I'm all about that, and I wish Jazzware the best of luck. If we all support them right now, then we are guaranteed to get like full-scale Pelicans, full-scale Falcons, anything like that. The three and three-quarter inch scale is perfect for vehicles. So let's go out to our toy stores and support Jazzware. The sun's coming out for Jazzware at the end of this video. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Please let me know if this is the kind of video you enjoy. I love making these sort of news headline videos by the water. And this is the second video in a row. You can check out yesterday's where we go over the new 20th anniversary poster for Halo Infinite, which I think confirms Prometheans in Halo Infinite. So check out that video. Signing off, we're going to go get some breakfast. <laughs>